warning, this is a fan game based on Five Nights at Freddy's. However, it does contain the following. Loud noises, flashing lights, jump scares, blood, mild swearing, crude, dark humor, and various other themes. Play at your own risk. Jesus Christ. Everybody, my name is Chris and welcome to the Tales of the Bunny Man. Um, I'm gonna turn this up for you guys. So look, this is not loud at all. Actually, that's probably the point. Hold on. I mean, oh wow. Yep, yep, that's getting loud. All right, never mind. Turn that right back down. Um, hi, right? My name is Crispy. Welcome to Tales of Bunny Man. Um, I don't know what this game is actually about. I saw Fusion play it, and then a few days later, I saw another guy play it. And now this cutscenes. Alrighty, so now we're gonna try and play it and hope I can get some TikTok clips up this because I'm low key selling on my TikTok clips lately. It was once a place of joy. I'm sure it was. Kids would come and go every day. But some never left. But I, I just, ew, my tongue just like grazed on my retainer. Oh wow. Those models look cool. Textures look a little stretched though. Oh hi. You wanna turn that camera around one more time so I can catch you slipping? Yeah, that's what I thought. Doesn't matter how long it takes. You know, these models remind me of um, the Return to Freddy's. I mean that in the nice way, by the way. Not like the... Not like... <laughs> I should clarify that because PRTF had some insane models. I will have my daughter back. I will have my daughter back. Let me read in that deep voice, Brad. I will have my daughter back. Tales of the Bunny Man. What am I, what am I finna do, bro? Pop out? And show fellas? Certified Boogeyman? Someone face it, kid. Huh. Alright, nice static. I see. Tutorials. Use the comics to figure out how they behave. Today, Bonnie T. Bunny was on his way to see his good friend Mendo. It had been ages. He was really excited, but he knocked and knocked, but nobody answered the door. Crestfall crestfallen, Bonnie returned home. Maybe Mendo was out for the day. He racked his brain trying to think of what where his friend could be. So close the door on him. All right. Yar, here I come, Bon. I want to see. I want those. What? What does it say? Saw? Say. I want those. Whatever. Um, what a suspiciously large present in the middle of this room. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. But it'd be rude to open someone else's present. I should check the park. If that scallywag keeps watching me, he's gonna get it. But first, it's time for me to refresh with my Freddy Fast Soda. Watch him on the cameras. Okay, so... So either hide or watch him on the camera. That's what I'm saying. These are actually cool ways to tell, a, tell the game to you. These models look crazy. Dude, this game did it. Already, I'm already feeling the feeling the love, bro. December fifteenth, nineteen eighty-five. This got a whole. Oh, that's the present. Okay, so I can hide in there. That. Hey guys. Click here to look. Shift. Control. Did we enter the breaker room? I should have. Oh. My cooks, y'all. There's Bonnie. There's Freddy. Wait, no, that's Golden Freddy. I'm sorry.
Is that Spring Bonnie? Is that Puppet? Yo, these models look crazy, dude. You're killing it out here, y'all. What is that? Oh, yeah, you need to be watched, don't you? Don't forget your cameras. Oh! Um... What the Sigma? I'm sorry. Oh, it's FNAF 1. Wait, what? It's FNAF 1 with like an updated like... Huh. Oh, hi. I'm gonna, I'm cooked, I'm cooked, I'm cooked. Oh my god. Wow, I just got so scared I couldn't make a noise. That's actually insane. Chat, what is OVO for? Oh, I was actually nothing about it. Only I haven't talked about that. I should probably talk talk about that and then lead into the joke. Um Okay, you're still you're moving fast. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yep, I'm out of here. I'm I'm cooking. Whoa, I can do this. It's cool. Oh, uh, I can't do it the other way. Where's Bonnie? Oh. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> hey, Mark, what are you doing? Like, I, I, what, like, what do you want me to do about this? <laughs> this big, tall, creepy man. I, I don't know. I'd be terrified to go here, bruh. Oh, I like how he has his coat on. That's dope. Foxy in his, um, in his, like, in his Louis Vuitton, bruh. You know? <laughs> Actually, nah, nah. He don't wear no Louis Vuitton. He wears he wear um polos. I know, I know. Look, I know Foxy wear polos. Oh shoot! I am, I'm, I'm getting in. All right, all right. So maybe he don't wear no polos. Maybe he wear um Taylor Rolling. Something. Awesome. I barely know nothing about. I know, dang well, I don't shop on um, stop. Oh, hi. You're getting close. That final sound means he's gonna. I'm, I'm holding it close until I see other reason why. Foul beast. Vile bell. Vile bell. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, I'd say so too. Oh, my father texts me. With the long face, Jeremy. Oh, that's cool. Or uh, she's the uh, the girl from the minigame. <laughs> it's funny of you to say. <laughs> Thank you. I actually thought about that joke the entire ride here. You're making me belly ache, Fritz. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Fritz. <laughs> Uh, that's Captain Fritz to you, lady. What? Whatever. Hey, let's go already. Go in already. Wow, that's the most black character I've ever seen in the FNAF community. 
I mean, in the fin <laughs> in a FNAF game at once. This is impressive. I already like this game significantly more than I like any other game. Wow. Um, <laughs> hey, we did promise to meet up with Cassidy. I'm gonna get the voices mix. I like that idea. Yeah, I want to see Cassidy already. Is that Cassidy? Hi, Cassidy. Hi, Cat. Hello, everybody. What are you up to? <laughs> Just working on a fella. You know how it is. Dad still doesn't like that I keep this around. But you know how I am. More persistent than anything. We learned the hard way. <laughs> well, you done already? Don't push it, pirate boy. I'm gonna give her like a, a, a painfully calm voice. There's no emotion. <clears throat> I just want to play hide and seek. I love hide and seek. Let's let's do a hide and seek, please, Cassidy, please, please. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I can't. Who is, who, <laughs> who is it? I want to hide. Don't. I don't want to seek. I want to hide. I can be it if that's okay. I yes, the worst one. You <sighs> Scandinavian? I, I can't get this together, bruh. Hey, that's the worst one. It'd be fixing to be jolly. I'm gonna switch up the voices, bruh. From here on, I'm using I'm using voices of whatever I see fit. You just got to look at the title or the tag. Okay, little fox guy, you're gonna be the first one. Ten, nine, eight. Hey, is anyone hiding? Vincent. <laughs> Vincent. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. You did. Ooh. Boy, is that a skunk? And wreck with pop goes. Okay, so this is like, uh, this is that kind of game. Like, they drop in references and stuff like that. I like you. I like it. And wreck with pop goes with machinists. This one was just installed here, although people already are flocking to it. Something about it being British makes it cool, I guess. But I promised to play it with Susie, so I can't do that now. Yeah, machinist. <laughs> go ahead and purchase that Pop Goes. Yeah, you know, go ahead and put your pre-orders in for Pop Goes Evergreen whenever it finally comes in out. You know, so Kane Carter can give me that free build. Please. No, I'm playing. Let me stop playing, bro. I'm stop being a pygmy, bro. Oof. That boy looked like he came from a horror, horror shorts party. Horror short stories. How are you? I feel like I need a vomit. Have you seen anyone? Face game. Who are you? T Tammy, Tammy Ben. Face game. Period. Howdy, Jeremy. What can I do for you? Roy Davis. Roy David. Roy Dave. Isn't Roy Roy Davis? He's from. So Who are you? You're as a kidder, Jeremy. Who is? I know. Hold on. I feel like I've heard that name before, though. Isn't Roy Davis an actual? Never mind. Any of your friends? Well, uh, come to think of it, Susie, uh, I reckon. I saw sneaking over to the kitchen, not surprising, really. I went to the kitchen. Thanks, Roy. Anytime, partner. How are you? You know how it'd be. A Wild West Monday out here. Ring the customers in the puppet over there. <laughs> See you around, partner. I'll, I'll stop by uh, the kitchen later. Hey, you. You seen our kid taking around here anywhere? Ar around here anywhere? I added another word, because I'm so cool. No, sorry. Thank you, anyway. Is that Steven Universe? Okay. Thank you anyway, let's go look at the front desk, Andy. She's probably trying to figure out who the, who that one white mascot is. You're probably right, she never got the hype behind it, and neither do I. White mascot? Why does it mean... What does it mean to be a pirate, Foxy? What do I need? Do I have to lose an eye and an arm? Is it all in the way I speak? Do I need a sword? I want to be like Michael. Michael was the best captain, except you, of course. What does it take? Found you. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, shoot. Sorry for scaring you. Also, what did I tell you about hiding here? Do you see how big that hook is? It's awesome. It's dangerous. Out now. Is that a reference to the one creepy pasta that people wouldn't let go, where the kid gets his eye cut out by the hook, and people kept reenacting it every single chance they got? The FNAF community back in the day was insanely annoying and really repetitive. I just want to keep that in mind. Wait a wait a minute. I can't. I I don't. Guys, don't swear here, dude. Flipping, dang it. <clears throat> that was a bit too obvious. I should just use my regular voice for him, because I know I 
<laughs> Is that, um, Olimar's son? Hey, you look kind of lost. Yeah, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends. Cool place to play, right? Cool place to play, right? Anyways, do you know if that big puppet thing in the middle of the price corner walks? If so, where does it go? Everywhere, I think. Really? That made my brain go ba bum That sounds so stupid. I don't know. I don't actually know. I'm gonna go ask Roy if he knows anything. Um, okay, I'm assuming this means that the uh, event's gonna trigger if I go there, so I'm not gonna go there yet. Um, that's, is that Olimar's son? That looks like Olimar's son. Hold on, bro. Let me find out someone on the on this team, uh, mess with Pikmin, bro. Hey. Well, well, well. Trent White. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, it's Westbrook Elementary's biggest wannabe Einstein. I've heard of that, too. I feel like I've, I've heard some of these things. Are you studying advanced science, sci advanced scientific theory or something? Wouldn't that make you a wannabe Einstein too, Airhead? If you want something, book it. Who are you? How are you? What do you think? Uh, this place is a, is a pit, man. A pit. They used to have Lally's game down in the arcade, which was pretty... I'm not saying that. But they took it in the back to make repairs. It's been months since then. My guess is they tossed it. I overheard the owner saying it was weird and creepy. Yeah, right, as if it doesn't look like a total as if he doesn't look like a total freak himself. This don't get lally like I do, you know? I'm truly sorry for your loss. Thank you. I, I feel like I've been left a shell of who I once was. Have you seen anyone? No, I haven't seen any of you Freddy Maggots, thankfully. That sounds like a painfully long way to call someone a certain slur. <laughs> um How are you? Hold on. There are some other dialogue options. Why are you even here? I, um, uh, you asked too many questions, and there was a one more. Seem a little too into this game. Hey, dog, buzz off. This game is for only for two anyways. Later. Thank God you're leaving. This took forever. All right, I'm about to go see some of the most brutal. Oh, never mind. Rita Lorraine. Y'all giving them full names. I got to try to remember these names, dude. Oh, my God, I'm cooked. Uh, I was already better remembering the five kids' names. I, off the top of my head, I can't name them all. Um, because I'm bad at that. Hey, my friend wants to go to Minecraft. Anyway, you see, excuse me, sometimes the people you love when you won't even realize you're head over heels for them. You gotta make it clear. Be loud. You know what I mean? That's true. Keep that in mind, y'all. If you want to pull, please let it be known. Speaking from experience. For, your, for a cute looking girl like you, <laughs> there should be some boys looking for you. And you ain't even realizing. It. Boys? Oh, hey, Jeremy. I guess you found me. Goodbye, kid. All right, you didn't have to turn into like a Mandela catalog character, you know? It wasn't even that deep for real. Like, you can have your little fun time with your little friend over there. How are you? Have you seen anyone? I think I saw something. Why aren't you hiding? I thought I saw Michael. I, I don't know. It was too hard to see, but I think I also saw Fritz Baker entering the house. Else? Must have been Mike then. He's not been himself since. You know what? She's the only person who, fe who he feels comfortable with. I think he regrets it deeply, even though we were impressed, and I can feel the impact. We should have been there. We are still his friends. Do, do you believe that, Gabriel? We will never forgive him. Forget him. Wait, I think I read that wrong. Oh, shoot. Ugh, I need tone indicators. <laughs> Fine, let's go back to the others. You caught me in the end. Buddy is tweaking on that table, bro. And his, look at his back. Ew. Yeah. I was keep looking at Gabriel a little, a little mighty hard, bro. Sorry, I looked down for a minute. I looked down, and let, the first thing, the last thing I saw was with Bonnie's face. Um. So okay. I like your whistling. Oh, yeah, like in the comics. Maybe it's just the janitor. Why would the janitor be in a, a Bonnie costume? I miss my mom. I hope she picks me up soon. You're cooked. Yeah, you're cooked. Oh, hey. He went Super Saiyan. Okay, so on recording, I've spent 23 minutes um playing this 
Hello everybody, my name is Crispy, and welcome back to another video episode or whatever part of Tales of the Bunny Man. Um, I want to say right now that if this video is a new video, then I didn't edit this alongside part one. If I put this with part one because it was too short in my opinion, then this is a part of part one. This isn't a new video. Uh, hi, welcome back. Uh, it's been weeks, like three weeks since I recorded this. I was supposed to have fi finished this game in like two days. Um, I didn't have the time to do that. Uh, I completely forgot as well. So yeah, I'm back here. Uh, we're gonna play episode two, and I'm probably gonna put this at part one so that I can at least establish that I've played this game. Um, from what I remember, right? Bonnie moves. You get to lock the door. Foxy you get to get in the box. I think. Um, Chica's active now, right? Okay. Bonnie. Oh, I went to the door. Yada yada. Knocked it. Oh, but he waddled away, right? Okay, Chica. Um, Chica baked cookies for Mendo. Bonnie's request. I, I, Bonnie's request. Supposedly he was homesick, but oh, homesick. But I'm. So, I can't speak English. But cookies can make everything better. But once again, nobody answered the door. He was probably so sick that he couldn't get up. So hold the door shut. It's so that she. And so Chica ended up leaving the cookies at the door. She should probably go tell go get a doctor or preferably tell freddy does that mean she's gonna so her she attacks and then freddy attacks afterwards when he's active or what foxy breaks down the door so you have to hide in the in the puppet hide in the puppet hide in the whatever and foxy's scared of the cameras i believe um yeah sorry about that it's been so the time at which i recorded that last video was back when my parents were out of town they have been in town for a while now so yeah i'm sorry about that really sorry about that uh, this video was supposed to be up way long ago um and i'm talking like when i say way long ago i mean it was supposed to be up probably like three weeks ago and it never it never went up and now as of the 27th of of, uh, of july it'll i'm hoping that i can get it out at least by the 28th of the 29th i am really sorry for the inconvenience <laughs> so sorry for the inconvenience typically i'm a little bit better about my schedule oh, jesus christ um typically i'm a little better about my upload schedule clearly that didn't come to fruition here oh look at the ch ch uh, look at the cupcake oh hi i i actually don't know Shut my friend. Hold on. I actually don't know like what I'm doing. It's seriously been that long. Good gang. I need. I actually don't know the sound effects off the top of my head, so a lot of this is actually really just trial and error. He's at the door! He's at the door! He's at the door! Is 
Is he not at the door? I thought he was at the door. But he should be, right? I should also probably... Where do these people reset to, dude? Well, yeah, I'm so serious. I don't know where. Bonnie's here. Chica's here. Boxy's here. Okay. What was I saying? Something like, um... Yeah, it's just taking me a while to get this out. It was school starting back up. Oh, my God. With school starting back up, it's going to be even harder for me to keep up with the schedule. Um, especially with me wanting to get a job once my freshman year... Um, freshman? What? <laughs> my senior year starts? Like, what, what in the world? Complete opposite. Um, once my senior year starts, I'm going to be genuinely just focusing on getting money. And, you know, work first and foremost in school. Well, no, first and foremost school. But then, you know, work in just that. So I really probably will be struggling with to meet deadlines on videos. Like, I seriously... Oh, what the frick? Who do I deal with? Okay, what was I saying? Switch to Mr. Home Rest. Okay, I was saying how, yeah, it's gonna be really difficult for me to record videos and stuff like that. I'm already struggling now, it's gonna be really hard later. I was only barely doing it when school was first in, you know? Like, I was. You can tell my upload schedule is mediocre at best whenever school's active. Anyway, so her, <clears throat> I, I used to do voices, but it's genuinely been weeks and I haven't. I didn't rewatch the VOD, or not the VOD, the video, so. How is it? How, wow, already can't speak. So how is it? So how's everyone doing? I'm good. When is Jeremy coming back? My mom said Jeremy and his parents are going on a trip. But when is he coming back? I think Mrs. Sutherland is lying. I, oh, I think Mrs. Sutherland is lying. Don't say that. Sorry. Let's go play games. Let's go to the arcade. Sounds good. All right, matey. You guys go ahead. I want to see Bonnie on the stage first and see if anyone else is around. Oh, whoa. Okay, something's off about Bonnie. Mr. Afton is saying he's breaking a little too often. I don't know why he doesn't let Henry see what's wrong. Ew. Yeah, he looks like he's trying to take a bite. How are you? Fritz Baker. You remind me of someone. Your design kind of fire, though. You know, just working a 9 to 5. Oh, you know, just working a 9 to 5. Afterwards, being Mikey's personal therapist, wish he would pay me. That silly man should abide by the Fair Labor Standards Act. That's why you love him? Shut up, Sutherland. Because you would know everything about love. Well, I do. Rita taught me, I guess. Homegirl, never listen to a... <laughs> Homegirl. Never listen to a word from that wannabe Afton's Mama Sita. She's a little unhinged if you catch my drift. Dang. Who are you? I'm a single mom of two in Los Angeles. That'll do it. Working as an accountant while my oh insane husband is fighting the pre the what? Are, who who are you? 
<laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> Fighting the Prowler just to bring me milk. Go, come on. Okay. The Ball Pit. Wish I could, uh, veg out, out a little bit more in there. I'm gonna bargain with Henry a little bit more about that. But have a great day. See you, Sutherland. You know where to find me. No, I don't. Howdy, Sutherland. Roy Davis. I swear his name's familiar. How are you? Hanging out the- how, uh, how are you? Who- who are you? Just good old-fashioned, uh, merchant. Favorite thing about Freddy's. Um, well, it's good- it's gotta be the prize quarter right here. It's my own little place, although I found something- Ah, uh, don't tell anyone this, but I found this tape of one of them plushies. Thank you, just keep that to yourself, alright? Well, like, can I find a tape before? Oh, holy... Moly. Uh, was that supposed to happen the first time? That I don't remember that happening. Let's see what this tape does. Oh my god. Will this sleep me to the one piece? July 25th. That's actually so scary. No, that's actually so scary. That's painfully cl cl close. Edward Murray. Meaning. I'm assuming the E is Edward, by the way. Because that just seems like the common name to pick. With that being said, that's how I created it. <clears throat> I got this. <clears throat> fascinating. Just really fascinating, Henry. And I think you might be a great help to Fred Bears. Thank you very much, Mr. Afton. Even though I came because of that lemon vacuum cleaner, I wanted to ask a question that... Oh, this... It, it is meant for my son. That is its name? Seems a little scary for a five-year-old. It wasn't supposed to be the permanent name, but David likes it. I was thinking about giving it some sort of suit. It's just a bad mech at the moment. Oh my god. <laughs> but he learns from David. Takes care of him. They have ta they've taken a liking to each other. Another member of the family to him. Is it the Mimic? Is this foreshadowing the creation of the Mimic? I just about that. Or telling us the creation of the Mimic? I almost made myself throw up. I have an idea. I have an idea. These stupid voices. <laughs> Your son loves it, right? This is the most important thing for us, bringing joy to all with our imagination. Your son bonding with the creation. Imagine if we could do the same to five or ten or damn, even a hundred children, Edwin. Edwin, I was so close. Children that don't e What are you trying to- what are you trying to say? Let's mass produce. Blank. William, with all due respect, it is made to help my son. Yeah, okay. After his mother died. Do you think that would take away their- Oh my gosh. You made it with love. Imagine how many lonely children need a little buddy. A buddy with, made with love. Children who don't have a mother. Something to grow and learn with. My son- My son Kenny is lonely. So lonely. His own brother won't stop bullying him no matter what I try to do. And my brother is too busy taking care of Elizabeth. I just- Give me at least a week with this mech of yours. Let's see how my son will react. If you're- your your magic manages to help him. How's that? Do we have a deal? I stopped doing the voice entirely because I, I it was going too fast. Thanks, Dad. I can't tell what that mech is. Hey, little bird, stay out of there. Scram. No entry unauthorized areas. Sorry. Got collection. So you saw that tape, I guess you want, you want to know about William, right? Well, like, well, well, what do you know about him, Susie? You know him in 81? I've known him and Henry since the 70s. Before then, in the late 60s, I was out in the Francisco Bay area. Tangent aside, I knew him in 81. Is there anything wrong, Susie? I'm just wondering, do you remember anything from 81? I remember William and Henry went on a bit of a buying spree in the early 80s after getting some Frasbury Entertainment paychecks. They shopped around in for tech and patents and am I boring you? You aren't old enough to know what a patent is. I'll tell you when you're older. Thanks Mr. Davis, I'll get going now. 
I kind of am though. I am old enough to know what a patent is. I feel like you should just tell me. Whoa. Mr. Afton, don't s I'm not putting emotion in my voice, bro. It doesn't fit me. Mr. Afton, don't scare me like that. <laughs> now, what's a missy like you doing snooping around a pirate's property? That's so gas that they gave him voice acting. Because out of every other... That sets him apart. I, I like that. That sets him apart. Because every other character doesn't have voice acting but him. From what I remember. Ooh. Oh, you kind of... Oh, you kind of jerked on that Lily V. How are you? My day is fantastic. Like every day is. Michael, unfortunately, didn't get over his little prank, but it doesn't matter. I love him nonetheless. I'm proud of him. He's quite the genius himself. Must have caught the Afton genes. <laughs> My family is quite rich in that. Metaphorically and quite literally. Mr. Afton, I never asked this, but why do you not talk about your family? Listen to that. Elizabeth and I were thinking about this yesterday. Can you tell me, please? Sure. Why is Elizabeth asking about her own family without going to her actual... I came from the UK with my mom and older sister, Elena. Um, I arrived in this world and these lands in 1935. I met Henry in the same woods as we're in front of. This became our everything. He helped me create and I helped him. You have a sister? Where is she? Elena is something we don't talk about. Uh, something? She's back in the UK, continuing our family business. What is it? Farming. <laughs> that doesn't sound rude, Mr. Afton. When are you going to tell this to Elizabeth? I feel like this is this is something you should be telling her. I will, just not now. You're just an exception. Because I'm going to kill you next, that's what he's saying. Where's Foxy? Hello, Foxy's in the uh, parts and service. The uh, the old landlubbers really twisted with the arms and legs. Almost stabbed Henry in the chest just now. Uh, but Agatha and Stain are hooked on the matter. <laughs> Did you know that Foxy's original name was Roberto Foxy? You don't get the crack jokes when I'm the one doing it. I, I'm literally the only person here who gets the crack jokes. Roberto? It is. I'm not ashamed to say that it was the original intent. I still try and convince Henry that his name is Roberto from time to time. I just wished he was a little more orangey. Can't imagine it. I think it has an aura. Real? A mystical energy, maybe. If you believe in that sort of thing. I have aura too, a lot of it. I do believe in that kind of thing. To each their own, I would say. But I am glad you think the same. Actually, keep it a secret between you and I, but I think you and your friends are the ones to help with that. <laughs> I will eternally thank you all for being a part of this. This is so funny how he's that he's lucky playing her face. Okay. Ah, uh, where where have you been, Scally Scallop, not Scallywag, sorry. We've been waiting for ages. Sorry, I was just looking around really. It's alright. Well, mateys, it's time to plunder your pockets. We've got a machinist to beat. What? Uh, I don't have any quarters, so I haven't either. It's fine, I've got some. Well, what are you waiting for? Let me have the, have the booty. Please, okay. My money, my game. Sounds fair, I guess. Yeah, I think so, too. Now, he got some weird aura on him, bruh. Serial killer aura, bruh. What? I actually don't remember what happened the first time around, so I am completely out the blue of uh, what's actually going on here. Um, but next video, seriously, actual next video, we really will play the third night. Um, I don't know when that'll come out though, so if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to don't miss it. And make sure you, uh, you know, hey, follow me on my socials, you know, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Or, I don't even have Instagram uh, for this account. Anyway, TikTok, Twitter, you know. You know the drill. I'll see you guys next time.